Hello friendos, it's Bella from the Bookish Badger, and today I'm going to be doing a 12-hour readathon. Now, I was going to do a 24-hour no-sleep readathon, but then I realized I had never actually stayed up for 24 hours ever. The most I've stayed up was 20 two hours, I think, and I was very, very tired by the end of it, so not in reading condition. But I also realized that I've never really tested my reading stamina, so I'm going to try to do a 12-hour one and see how it works out. Maybe I'll do some more of these in the future and up, up the hour quotient a little bit every time. So it is currently 11.58. I am going to start at noon and go until midnight tonight. First, I'm going to... I'm currently in the middle of Percy Jackson and The Last Olympian. I've got a little over a hundred pages left, so I'm going to continue on with that. On audiobook, I'm currently listening to The Rose Society, which is the second book in the Young Elites trilogy. And then we'll, we'll see where we get from there. I'll have to choose after that. So, here we go. I just finished Percy Jackson and The Last Olympian, and you know, what a great series. That was, that was just fabulous. Props to Rick Riordan. It is currently 3.17, so I'm a little over three hours into the readathon. I ended up starting at 12.05 more like, so I guess this is going to midnight 05. Oh well. So I am going to update my Goodreads real quick. Uh, then I'm going to get some lunch and I'll listen to my audiobook while I do that. Just going to update now. This is the most books I've read in one year and I've, I'm not done yet. So there you go. If you're not following me on Goodreads yet, I always have my link down in the description if you would like to befriend me there. I made myself my sandwich and I've got my audiobook right here. I only have four hours left in it and I'm really liking it so far. I was not such a huge fan of Young Elites, but you know, enough so to go on with the second book and when I found out that it was in audiobook format, I thought, well, maybe I'll try that out, see how it is. And I don't know if it's that the second book is so much better or if I like the audiobook format of this book better, but I'm liking this book better. I'm saving the audiobooking for when I cannot be physically reading a book, so this is the perfect time for it. Let's dive back into the story. Flames rush around him as if eager to be reunited with their master. His dark hair is wild and unruly hiding his face from view. His clothing is still the same. Exactly what he wore when he died. Steers her horse off the course and races to cut off Maeve. Maeve looks over her shoulder. It's a familiar move and somehow it brings a slight smile to Maeve's lips. Faster, faster, she urges her horse. She bends so low over its neck that it seems like they blend together into one. Alrighty, I just finished eating lunch and I listened to half an hour, a little bit over half an hour more of my audiobook and I made myself a big old cup of tea. I am about to start Percy Jackson in the Olympians The Ultimate Guide, which is a shorter one, so hopefully I'll be able to get that done pretty quickly. And my little 
baby Stella, my kitty cat, came to join. Look at this. Isn't isn't she a precious little kitty? Alright, well, I just finished Percy Jackson The Ultimate Guide, and I was not impressed, unfortunately. It was pretty much just recapping the whole Percy Jackson series and the monsters in it. It had like a couple of interesting ish things with the mythology, but as a person who just finished the Percy Jackson series, this was not necessary for me and it just felt a little overkill and haphazardly thrown together, so that's a little disappointing, but at any rate, I'm going to go update my Goodreads real quick again and I guess then I'll figure out what I'm going to read next. I hate on Goodreads when I forget to mark that I'm reading it and then I finish reading it. So then I have to mark it as currently reading and then mark it as read like two seconds within each other. I updated my Goodreads on that and I wrote up a quick little review and I just got called down for dinner so perfect timing. I suppose I'll decide what to read next after that. Alrighty, it is exactly one hour later. I swear to god, my mom is like the best cook on the planet. She made this delicious zucchini frittata. Mm, perfect. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to say that I am going to go downstairs and do the dishes, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to continue listening to my audiobook, and I think for the hour lost at dinner. I'm going to extend this readathon to 1 a.m. so that I can make up for that and still make it like a true 12 hour readathon. So time to listen to some more Rose Society. Okie dokie, I just got done with the dishes. I have a little under three hours left in my audiobook, but for now I'm going to switch back to physical book, so I'm going to choose which one I want to read. Now I have two decisions. There is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, and there's Moxie by Jennifer Math Matthew, Mathau, I am actually not sure, but these both are supposed to be absolutely fabulous books. I think, mm, it's so hard, but I think I'm going to choose Moxie just because it goes back to the library sooner than The Hate You Give does, because I just got out The Hate You Give last night and I got out Moxie last week, so the return date is sooner. Moxie is supposed to be about a girl in a Texan high school who is dealing with a lot of sexism in her high school, so she starts a feminist zine since she's fed up with it and she starts so sort of a girl power revolution and it's supposed to be just fantastic so I'm really excited to get into that one.
little Stella is back. Hello. What does, what does the camera smell like? I love you. Okay, back to reading. So it is officially a little bit past 1 a.m. I just put down Moxie. I'm a little over 150 pages in. That is the most I've read in one sitting in quite a while. I'm really loving the concept of Moxie and I really like a couple of the characters, but for me personally, the writing, it's lacking something for me, but I, I feel like it could definitely be somebody else's cup of tea writing wise. It's just not necessarily mine, but it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it because I am, I'm, I'm still feeling like inspired feminist, yes, from it. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I started losing my reading stamina at around like 12.30 and that's when I got changed for bed, got in comfy clothes, and I, I kept on reading. Usually I'm in bed like an hour ago by now. Uh, but this has been a lot of fun and I'm going to go calculate how many pages I've read. Uh, see, I said that I started losing my reading stamina at around 12.30 and I just watched it back and I was like, well that was wrong. I meant 10.30. See? Tired. I'm tired. Anyway, I calculated it and I figure I read about 477 pages today. I say about because I can't account for exactly how many pages I read or listened to in the audiobook, but I figured about 50 seemed right, so that's what I put in. If that's not right, then oh well, just figure around 477 pages today. Anyway, I felt like this was a really good experience. It was definitely a good tester readathon for me. I really enjoyed it. I loved reading so much in one day. This is more than I ever read in one day. I think I will definitely be trying one of these again in the future. Work my way up to that full 24 hour no sleep readathon. Oh golly, that's intimidating, but I want to do it eventually. I really do. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Do not hesitate to subscribe for more content coming soon, and I will see you in the next video. Bookish Badger, signing off.